In this video, we'll discuss several key features while using your electronic drums with Logic Pro X. I will record a short drum track and walk through each of the key settings to see how you can fine tune your sound. I'll start out by creating a new software instrument and configuring it as a heavy drum kit. Next, I'll turn off any plugins in order to get a bare bones sound to build upon. The first thing I'll do is set the drum track on a loop so I can circle through the track if needed while experimenting with sound. Logic Pro X's plugins allow you to enhance your drum kit's sound. You can add several plugins to your drum kit's track to fine tune your sound. Plugins are located here on the inspector panel. Click on the gray area in the bottom section to add one of the many plugins available to you. If the inspector panel is not visible, click on the inspector panel icon. Channel EQ is a plugin and can be located in the EQ drop down list. Now let's go back to the drum track we created earlier and work with channel EQ to modify the drum kit's sound. Let's start out by deleting the unused audio track. Next, I'll demonstrate how to remove the channel EQ plugin from your track and add it back in again. Now, let's hear what it sounds like by turning the channel EQ on and off and by selecting certain preset drum settings that come with Logic Pro X. Now, I'll demo a few other ways that you can fine-tune your EQ settings.
The compressor is also a plug-in and can be located under the Dynamics drop-down list. Now, I'll turn off the channel EQ plugin and add the compressor plugin to the track. As you can see, there are several flavors of the compressor to choose from. I'll pick the first one. Next, I'll turn the compressor on and off, try some presets, and do some custom adjustments to see how it affects the drum sound. The drum kit plugin is present when you create a drum kit software track. Click on it to open it. I'll turn the drum kit on and off, customize the sound of some of the pieces of the kit, and cycle through some of the drum kits included with Logic Pro X. Let's hear how it sounds. To make the inspector tool visible, click on the inspector tool icon. I'll turn some of the smart controls on and off and adjust the levels of several of the settings to see how it affects the sound of the drum kit.
yet another plugin, the multi presser, can be located under the Dynamics drop down list. I'll adjust some of the most common multi presser controls to see how it affects the drum kit's sound. As you can see, the multipressor does not have any presets for drums. Remember that it is fine to have several plugins. You can also experiment by turning them on and off. Also, there are many other plugins available to add to your drum kit. Drum kit.